So how do you create an awesome thumbnail image that gets people to click even if you have no design or creative experience at all? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you four different websites that you can check out that you can easily create these clickable thumbnail graphics. If you're brand new to the channel, my name is Monty Weaver, and I'm here to help you navigate through digital technology and social media. Now, today's video is prompted by one of the questions that I received in the comment section from Victor, simply asking, how do you create thumbnails? So Victor, this video is for you. If you all want to see more video tutorials around questions that you might have, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure that you leave your questions in your comments in the description section below. I'm going to share with you four websites that you can leverage to create awesome designs for your thumbnails and images. Now, if you're anything like me, you don't necessarily have that creativity skill set. And even the things that you think in your mind are very difficult to translate into graphic graphical images. So these four websites should definitely help you do that because they're all template based. That means you can simply replace colors, text or images on designs that already look amazing. I love using templates because as a non creative, it definitely makes life a lot easier and a lot faster to create the things that you actually want to create. The very first website that I'm going to show you is called canva.com. So let's take a look at the computer and walk through some of the elements of Canva. Welcome to Canva. This is the website that you'll initially get to and you can get there by visiting www.canva.com. Now, the first thing that most people ask is how much does it cost? So we'll click on the pricing tab and we'll notice that there's three different versions. We have free, pro and enterprise. So definitely get started with the free version so you can access over 8,000 templates, 100 plus design types and hundreds of thousands of free photos and graphics. So I'll log into my Canva account using the Facebook option and you'll see that we have many types of design templates that we can choose from. In this case, we'll select the YouTube thumbnail template and you can see on the left hand side that we have plenty to choose from. As you scroll down the list, you can definitely see that there's different niches and different types that you can choose from depending on which industry you're in or simply which designs you just like the best. So we'll select on Cherokee Forest Hikes. After you selected your template, you can easily change any features that you would like. So let's say we want to change the color of the words on the screen. We can change this by visiting the top section, selecting the color we want to change to. And now we go from green to white. If we wanted to change something like the background, we could simply select the background and delete that. Choose the photo section, find a brand new photo and replace it with the photo we want. And then we can also change the position of the elements on the screen as well by simply clicking on position and sending it backwards. So now our image is behind our text. So you can do this with any template that you find on the Canva website. And I definitely encourage you to play around in the free version and have fun. Now, if you like Canva, then you'll definitely like the next one I'm going to share with you. This one is called Design Bold, and I've actually been using Design Bold for about three years now, and I continue to use this platform. It's just one of my favorites. So let's jump back into the computer and let's walk through some of the elements and things that you can do with Design Bold. Welcome to Design Bold. You can visit their website at designbold.com. Now, the first step is to check the pricing by clicking the pricing tab and you'll see that they have two plans available, a free plan and a pro plan. The same way with Canva, definitely check out the free features in the program before you commit to buying on a monthly basis. You can scroll down and look at the comparison chart to see the differences between the two, but in most cases, the free plan will work for most people. I'm already logged into my account, so I'll click on my account and I'll go into my designs. And you can see that I do use this on a regular basis, creating designs not only for myself, but also my clients as well. 
But if you want to create your design from scratch, you can definitely click on create a design in the top right corner. You also be able to see the different elements that you can choose from. We'll select thumbnail of YouTube. And it's pretty much the same process as before. Simply selecting a template to begin with. And then changing the elements as you see fit. So we can change our images here. We can delete. You can upload your own files. So if there's something that you already have saved, you can delete your own files. I'll take the picture of the house and again, resize it. And I can create my own custom thumbnail that I can use on my YouTube channel. But again, there are many different types of elements that you can choose from more than just YouTube. We'll select on templates and you can see that you can select flyers, social media types of posts, all kinds of elements for your design needs. Now, the third option that you have is a little bit different. It's not quite a website, but it is from my friends over at Design Hacker. They have actually created templates within Google Slides. So if you use the Google platform on a regular basis for presentations or lower thirds and templates for thumbnails, you can definitely check them out at Design Hacker because they have plenty of templates that you can use and customize as well. And it's all with inside of your Google account. So let's jump back into the computer and let's take out some of the templates that you have with Design Hacker. Now we'll take a look at Design Hacker. If you currently use the Google Suite, then this is a great addition to that because these are templates that are going to keep you inside of the Google platform. These slides are template based slides so that you can easily change them and adjust them the way you want. So we'll scroll down and we'll look into the YouTube section, but you definitely have templates for Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter as well, including slide decks, which are awesome. So we'll click on YouTube and then we'll scroll down and we'll do the preview so you can get an idea of what these look like. These all come with step by step instructions as well on how you can change your slides. So we'll scroll down and you can see the dimensions of the slide, where you can get in contact, license information, how to edit your branding colors, uploading, downloading, a demonstration of what it would look like on the particular platform you're using. In this case, we're using YouTube, so we'll see how it looks on desktop, TV, and mobile. And different styles of templates that you can choose from where you can simply replace images, replace text, and replace icons all to your liking. So this is the third site that I definitely like to use to create my graphic designs, not just YouTube, but also other graphic designs in general that I might need in the future. Now, the final site that I wanna share with you is probably the most robust. It literally has everything from mock-ups to social media posts to flyer designs and of course the thumbnails it literally has everything under one umbrella it's definitely the platform that you'll want to look at if you need more than just thumbnails if you have a lot of creative that needs to be done and you want a platform that easily allows you to do it this is probably the one that i'm going to highly recommend to you so let's take a look at the computer and check out place it now, the fourth one is called Place It. You can visit them at placeit.net. Now, this thing has everything. It has graphics, it has video templates, it has mock-up designs, pretty much anything you need for graphics, it has it here. So we'll take a look at the pricing. And you can see that this is a $14.95 a month plan, or you can play the annual plan. But let's go and take a look at what they have to offer for YouTube. So we'll do a search for YouTube thumbnails. And you can see that there are many thumbnails to choose from here as well. We'll select on the racing games. This style is a little bit different than the first two. On the right hand side is where you'll make all your adjustments where you can choose background colors, change any graphics that you might have on screen. And on the left hand side of the screen is where you'll change the text. You are limited to how much text that you can add per section. So do keep that in mind. But this is a great platform as well. 
if you definitely need more than just thumbnails, if you really have a lot of graphic needs, definitely recommend checking out this site as well. So these are my four favorite websites for design and creatives, Canva, Design Bold, Design Hacker, and Place It. So definitely check out these sites, see which one works best for you, and let me know in the comments section below which is your favorite site based on this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you do. Let me know what I can create a video to help you with on your social media journey, on your tech journey, on your digital journey. My name is Monty Weaver, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.